everyone. I hope you're all okay today. And if you're not feeling well, I hope you feel better very soon. There are so many bugs and viruses around at the moment. And I know some of you aren't feeling too good. So mwah, big kisses to you. Conrad is feeling better. Thank goodness. He just had one day of feeling really rough with the booster. Um, someone asked me how that affected him. Um, he was just fluey, achy, tired, headache. So he took um, Lemsip, paracetamol, drink, and the next day he just had his glands up, but he was feeling a lot better, and today he's back to normal, thank goodness. I've got my gorgeous Freddy, Freddy, Freddy with me today. Just love this little boy. He's the Ethan Sculpt by Cassie Brace, and he's the partial silicone version of him. And I was really lucky to get him from Alexandra Taylor Hughes, my dear friend. So big kiss to you. Mwah. So yeah, and we're gonna change him today's in this lovely one piece rabbit outfit. I'm gonna change him into this rocking horse one. Do you remember I bought this in my small haul? It's a long sleeved vela top and it's a baby blue and it's got blue and white check collar smocking across the front of the top and it's white smocking and it's got little blue rocking horses on it. A little bit of brown across it. Or is that a shadow? Yeah, it's a shadow. <gasps> Honestly, looks like brown, doesn't it? But it's a shadow in here. So white smocking with three little blue rocking horses that are light blue. And they've got dark blue manes and towel and a dark blue saddle. And then it's got a little pair of footless trousers that have got a blue and white cuff at the bottom. And I'm going to put some lovely little socks on that his sweet auntie sent to him. And he's going to have his Freddy shoes on that his lovely auntie Gal had made for him with his name on. So we're going to put that on him and I'm going to have a little chat with you. So let me just pop that down there for a second. And I'm going to change him as I said and I've got my sweet new little baby girl and this beautiful little baby girl with her hands up to her face isn't she just adorable she's got a pink and white striped hat on and a little white nappy and a pink blanket she's got one little foot up in the air and one down she's just adorable and i'm going to tell you what her name is and then while i tell uh, i change freddie i can tell you why i called her that so, meet Ivy. So there's little Ivy. Say, Mwah, big kisses. Auntie Edith, who was very kind to send this to mummy. She's got a little pink heart on her, on her shawl. And I'm just gonna pop her down on the bed a second. There you go, sweetheart. Just put her down there. And then we change Freddy. So come on, Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Mummy, put your stuff down. Put Teddy over here. Here he is, little Freddy. Little Freddy. Here he is, my little smiler. He's got the cutest little smiley face, haven't you? Yes, you have. I'm going to take this off of him and get him dressed and tell you all about ivy now ivy actually is a good name for this time of year isn't it the holly and the ivy and everything but the main reason i wanted to call her that was because of a lovely lady that i met and she this lady reminds me very much of my dear friend edith who actually sent little ivy to me and it was when we were newly married um, we couldn't get an army quarter, that's what they call houses, you know, um, a, an army house because you had to be 21 to have one. And my husband was only 19 when we got married and I was 17. Yeah, very young. <laughs> cute little lad. Such a cute little boy. Such a cute little boy. Yes, you are. Where's his little feet? Where's his little feet? He's so adorable, isn't he? Look at him. 
he's got the cutest little face. Um, yeah, we couldn't. So my husband found a bed sit for us in Bournemouth and that's where we went. Um, and someone was asking me whether we had a honeymoon. Well, no, we couldn't afford a honeymoon. I mean, we spent the time we were down there um, exploring Bournemouth, actually, you know, finding out where the shops were, going around the pleasure parks, looking at the gardens and that kind of thing. So, you know, we did that. And we also painted one of the walls, the main wall, in our tiny little new home. And we just had, like I said, a bed sit, which is just one room, and it wasn't a very big room. It was probably the size of this, actually. Just put these socks away so I don't lose them. And in that room, we had a fireplace. And the fireplace above it had a mirror. And in one of the alcoves by the fireplace, by the door, there was a little place to hang your coats. And the other alcove, the other side of the fireplace, had a sink in it. Oh, you know, so you could have a wash and there was a little mirror there as well. And there was a little table and chairs with, it was like a table with four chairs underneath the window. There was a big, we were in like a bay, there was a bay window. Um, and th there was a table and four chairs there. And then there was a wardrobe on the left hand side. I'm talking to you as if we're coming in the door kind of thing. And on the, there was a wardrobe on the left hand side. And then next to the wardrobe was a double bed. And that was it. Across the hallway from our door was a little room, really tiny, uh, almost like a cupboard. And um, that was a tiny kitchen. And it literally had a sink for washing up and a gas stove, a little table with two chairs behind the door you had to be really careful when you went in the door that you didn't bash the table and chairs you know really tight space and um, and that was kind of it a little tiny kitchen and it had a cupboard under the sink and a cupboard above the sink with pots and pans and things in and plates and cups and things so just you know the basics and there was a little drawer in the table, actually, that had knives and forks and spoons and everything, all your cutlery. So, yeah, very, very basic. And on the landing, because we were like on the second floor of the place, there was our bed sitting room, our little kitchen. Next to that was a big bathroom that had two sinks and a bath in it and a toilet. And then there was another bed sit next door to ours. And um, I really didn't take a lot of notice of that other bed sit because, you know, we were newly married and exploring Bournemouth, exploring each other. <laughs> You know what I mean, ladies. And um, it wasn't until he went back to work, he had to get up five o'clock in the morning to catch a coach to take him to where he was stationed. And then I was on my own all day until he got home at seven o'clock in the evening. So I got a bit lonely, as you can imagine. I mean, it didn't take long to do housework. So, you know, I had a lot of the time on my hands. I did go out for walks, found shops and did, you know, did things like that. But then I thought I ought to introduce myself. Bebo.
<laughs> Bebo, sweetie. Um, I ought to introduce myself to whoever was living next door. Because, like, you know, the walls were thin. We, we heard people, well, person moving about. So we knew someone was living in there. So this day, I was, you know, really, really shy, always have been. I'm kind of an introvert, extrovert, you know what I mean? <laughs> I thought, I'll go and knock. Because I could hear moving about in there, so I knew someone was in there. And this little old lady answered the door. Oh, she just was so nice. And she was really pleased to meet me and invited me in for a cup of tea. And, uh, you know, we, we became friends. I did a lot of shopping for her if I was going out. Come in, sweetheart. I always knocked to see if she needed anything, you know. All right, Freddy. All right, Freddy. <laughs> um... And, uh, you know, she told me all about herself and she was a widow and, you know, we'd have afternoon chat. She'd come round to me for a cup of tea. I'd go round to her for a cup of tea. Not every day, but at least once a week, you know, so we both had a bit of company. Um, she didn't go out much, um, but we did have a walk down the town. Well, not far, actually. We had a walk to the nearest shop. Um, she couldn't walk very far, um, but her name was Ivy, and yeah, you know, I often, I mean, she must be long gone, bless her, because I've been married over 50 years, so, and, and she must have been 80, 80-ish, lovely lady, she reminded me very much of my gran, who I'd, uh, who I lost, um, a couple of years later, actually. But, uh, yeah, she was lovely. And we... Oh, doesn't that look adorable on him? Can you see him? I hope you can see him okay. Let me just come in a bit closer for you. Look at this on him. It fits him perfect. I knew it would. Go on, sweetheart. Mwah. Let's do those little tingles. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, and um, yeah, I thought I thought about Ivy when I was talking about our wedding the other day, you know, because it always kind of brings these things to mind, doesn't it? And people, and um, I thought that would be the ideal name for my new little dolly. She's just beautiful. I love her. Let's pop your Freddy shoes on. Say. Mwah. Big kiss to my auntie Gail who sent me these lovely shoes with my name on. So yeah, Ivy. And that's going to be my new little girl's name because it's Christmassy and it reminds me of somebody that I know and, and was a nice lady, you know, a good friend. We used to have nice little chats and yeah, she had, she had an an interesting life and I just love learning about people you know so there's his little Freddy shoes can you see his little Freddy shoes Freddy 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 <laughs> isn't he just adorable so yeah let's just pop this back on darling so I don't lose it just put his little dummy clip on but I think he looks totally adorable in that I hope you're seeing him all right it's pretty dark in here today let me pop the light on Ooh, ooh. does that make things better or worse for you not sure it's quite a dark old day today I'm not sure if that's better or worse but we'll leave it on for you for a moment so there he is. I've just got to give his hair a brush. I hope you're seeing him all right. Come on, Freddy. Shall we see if we can do you a little curl today? A little quiff in the middle. There we go. Let's see if we can do you a little quiff. His hair is quite short, but it does do a little... <laughs> A little stamp. I hope you enjoyed hearing why 
I called my new little baby Ivy, the story of her name. And um, seeing little Freddy today, this will be the last, last video I make for a little while because of son FaceTimed last night and he is definitely coming up on Thursday. We don't think the government's going to make any more announcements until the 18th and he'll actually be here then so we'll see what happens then but at least he's coming up that's the main thing and we and we kind of go from there so there he is he's got his little punky hairstyle today <laughs> he's so super cute I don't know if putting the light on made things better or worse. Oh, I've just dropped the brush. What am I like? I've just been watching the last episode of that close to me. My goodness, husbands, ladies, what would you do with them? I'm not going to say what happened just in case you haven't seen it. But yeah, mm hmm. So, are you seeing this little man any better with the light on? I hope you are, anyway. So, yeah, just watched the last one of that. Enjoyed dressing my gorgeous Freddy today, although I seem to have messed his hair up for some reason. What's happened? There we go. Mummy messed it up, didn't she? So, yeah. So yeah, um, I keep saying, so yeah, don't I? My son's coming up on Thursday. I'm really excited about that. It's, I really need to take my mind off things and have a fun time and just forget about everything else. And not that I ever forget about you all, I don't, but you know what I mean. Just do some fun things and have some fun times together and really looking forward to that. And I hope you enjoyed seeing Freddie today. He's such a joy, this baby. And I will miss you. But we will be back probably Wednesday next week. But we'll see how things go. You take care of yourselves. No one thinking of you. And thank you so much for your love and support. It means the world. Mwah. Love you ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>